Welcome to today's video. What I'm going to be looking at is the long-eared bear. I'm going to be playing this at a demonstration speed, not at the 120 beats per minute that it says up the top here. Um, so as not to frighten you away from practicing it, although um, it's worth you getting used to it and then bring it up to speed because that's where it needs to be. Um, notice that it is in the treble clef on the left hand. So these are starting on C sharp and D sharp. I'm just going to pause there for a minute. Um, I can see a tenuto mark here. There's a lot of markings in here. Uh, legato across the top meaning attached. Staccato down here with these little dots. So anything with these little dots. Or detached, which is what staccato means. And tenuto means that you hold on to these notes. So listen for how I hold that A and this C sharp and the D sharp. Um, these are also, this is meant to be played piano, which is sort of soft and gentle or down at level, depending on how you use that word. Um, and mezzo forte, which is, forte means strong and mezzo means half. So starting this off, not at full strength, but Staccato, tenuto. Now, that's the end of the phrase down here. And what I'm going to do is just move the music up a little bit. <clears throat> because the next bit is quite easy to read. If you look at the left hand part, uh, remembering it's in the treble clef, we've got G, A, B, G, A, B, G, then A, and then the B comes in over here. G, A, B, G, A, B, and so on. So if I take it from uh, the tail end of this phrase here, one, two, three, four. you through that section there look at how much repetition there is in the left hand as I look at the end here uh, I can see a flat sign which means one black key to the left or yeah a flat is one semitone to the left so it's what to be more complete about what it will always be is one key to the left of whatever you're doing if you're playing piano um, at this stage this is the initial stage then it's normally one black key to the left so I'm playing D, B, B flat, back to B natural, this sign here is a natural. That's the same theme coming in. Now what I'm just going to have a check off here, so uh, this doesn't go back into the bass clef, so this is a B, this is a D here and an E here giving you a final chord of D, then E, and then G and B up the top there. And that should all be quite close together up in the treble clef. So hopefully you found that useful for rehearsal purposes. Um, any YouTube video won't um, won't be better than a teacher. Try and get a one-to-one -one teacher. But if you found this useful, then hopefully you can use it for rehearsal purposes and um, to book me for lessons, then contact me online.